So looking, uh, when it's an exam, look for the marks. Okay, let me look at this, three marks. Oh, let me explain a bit. So you look at the graph of the energy, uh, the, the marks awarded, or, and, or they mention uh, anything about activation energy. Okay, so any activation energy is under EA. So it's partly the rate of reaction chapter. So if they ask you to write this down and they ask, they, they award something like three marks just to draw the graph. So there's a slightly extra thing that you have to add in. Okay, let me prepare the space. So you have EXO and then you have like ENDO. Okay, so yeah, if they mention activation energy, so how does the activation energy fit into this uh, energy level diagram? So this is the graph is called an energy level diagram with or without the activation energy, okay? So if they ask you to draw energy level diagram, is this. If they ask you to draw graph, is this, okay? So XO is like this, you know, oh, it is going down. Okay, going down like that. XO ma, gives up, gives up, so drop, okay? Drop, you spend money, drop, okay? So, uh, but it goes up like that, there's a small hill, so make sure it's connected together. Don't let your teacher have opportunity to minus your marks. Uh, so this is with the activation energy, okay? They'll most probably ask you to label. So if they ask you to label, so um, yeah, here. So where's the activation energy, the EA? Yeah, this is the EA. So from the reactants, remember? From the reactants to the top. Yeah, so this is the, the EA. Got it? Okay, uh, then after that, if they ask for the delta H, hey, which one shows the delta H? Now, this is the delta H. Like that. Okay, so this is what they call is the delta H. Okay, and make sure you put an arrow also going down. So this delta H is negative, okay? Because this value is higher than this, like 1,000 to 200. Yeah, EA is the activation energy. Okay, so let me, since we are learning this, let me uh, just make sure you are clear. Just, uh, if it's a simple graph, if they just award you one mark and stuff, you just draw this. Okay, I would say the top is when they try to be tricky, they talk about activation energy. So most of the time you just draw this, okay? Got it? Like so, so make sure the delta is here, going down on the right hand side. Okay, so these are the reactants. Product, reactants, product. Okay. But if your teacher did not touch this there, I think you can just ignore that. Some teachers want to make things harder. So, okay. So if endo, same thing, endo, make sure this is the energy graph. Okay. So you know that it's going up. Endo, my absorb. So yeah, you gain. Okay. You, you gain, uh, you gain money, you gain uh, increase. Okay. So then, if there is activation energy, once again, once I mentioned, uh, include the activation energy. So we go up this hill and then it goes like that. Okay, like that. Uh, I mean, you do see this in the, uh, you know, eh? hey. there's one time they, they, they asked, uh, they didn't add, add in here. It was in, uh, then, then, see, you see? It's here, okay? So it's in the past year. Don't, don't be surprised when you see this. Okay, don't be surprised, no problem. So let's go back to here. So if it's endo, endo so, uh, if they ask to label the activation energy, so activation energy is always from the reactants to the top. So this one, reactants to the top. Yeah. Okay, EA, got it? Ah, uh, then, when they ask for the change in heat energy, it's always the difference between the level. So usually we just do delta H, got it? Okay, so this is positive because it's going up. So make sure you draw an arrow going up also, going up, okay? So they have to climb this big hill. This purple is to show that, oh, for it to happen, for the reaction to happen, they have to climb this big hill, okay? Uh, before it becomes a broad, is a product PQRS. If they ask what is the active energy, then uh, I won't, I will, I will not say that. But then if they they give you the value law, they say that okay, this one and this one, what's the difference? Law? Okay. 
something like that. Okay, if they ask for the value of activation energy, so maybe they give you this as uh, you know, one thousand. This one is 800. This one is 200. So from here, it's all in kilojoules. Okay, kilojoules per mole. Okay, I zoom into this. Okay, kilojoules per mole. So then, so if they ask for, oh, what is the activation energy for this reaction? So you just take 1,000, okay, minus the 200. So that's the EA, okay? So that's like 800 kilojoules per mole, okay? If they ask delta H, Okay, so we take the difference of, so you see delta H is this, oh, yeah, this. Okay, so you take the 800 and the 200, so difference. So 800 minus 200, difference is 600 kilojoules per mole. But since it's increasing, so make sure you put a positive. Therefore, if they ask, uh, uh, okay, if it's less marks, uh, okay, maybe, uh, maybe two marks or one mark, okay. So for um, this endo, okay, let me zoom out a bit. So we're still at endo here. Okay, endo is XO. So endo, just make sure you write energy on the axis and it goes up like that. Okay, so P plus Q, R plus S, delta H, positive. Okay.